Hey what's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over the arpeggiator and the sequencer in Synthmaster. So we have a patch I just pulled up here. One thing I should mention is Synthmaster is perfect for trance music, just saying. Uh, so we're going to open up the arpeggiator section and turn it on. There are multiple modes and the default is chord mode. So. Chord mode means you can play, uh, so usually, if you, if you have like a regular arpeggiator, it will go first note, second note, first note, second note, if you press uh, more than one note at the same time. Right, kind of pretty. Chord mode means that it just repeats and it plays both notes at the same time. basically the two modes and you have a uh, uh, up down up plus down up plus down two up down plus up and then down plus up two is and as played is uh, kind of like the traditional way of how the notes will cycle in between each other and I'll just give you an example of that right so if you're pressing more than one note we'll go we'll play a triad right? it'll play in that kind of succession uh, we have the three, we have four steps, so if we go three, for three notes, it'll constantly uh, reset. Also, you can adjust the velocity of each note and uh, all that. So we will go arpeggiate, and this will be kind of the order of things and how it works. So I will go, yeah, I'll just have like a major, I'll just have a triad here. And I'll show you what it does, so you can have it set up and you can change you want it to go up one octave and then down. Right? Or you can uh, have the priority of the second, third, or last. Or you can have a random, which is pretty cool. Uh, another thing I should mention is there's uh, the slide and hold. Slide is like a TB303 where it goes boo doo 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 Right? Okay. Someone sample that because that was ridiculous. But uh, that's with the kind of the 303 kind of gliding and accent. Hold means that it ignores the duration, which brings us to our duration. You'll notice up here that we have duration. So we can go very small duration. Right. Uh, we'll go uh, four. And uh, we'll go, yeah, we'll just hold the third. Right, right. so you can see what it's doing to do, right? swing you can physically see and I really like how the arpeggiator is laid out right, so you can get some really cool kind of minimal swing uh, you can get some like techno stuff going on really really useful and it's right in there and it's a uh, highly musical in my opinion uh, volume is the velocity uh, you can do it per step again when we're in chord mode and that works out well. Um, range, you can have it uh, moving, press one note and it'll move up and down per octave. Uh, two octaves, three or four. All right? We can have multiple steps, which we'll get into. We can have a sync rate of all of these fun little things. Uh, 16 triplets. Right? So you can get some cool stuff there quarter triplets. Right. Really fun. Uh, we'll go uh, we'll go 16s for now. And uh, velocity step note. So that will be for, say, if we have a sequence, we can draw in a sequence. And if you click on anything and you drag horizontally, you can make the sequence longer, the note longer. So you can get like typical techno. Right? And that's uh, pretty fun to do. But we'll have it just like this. You can sequence it per uh, two octaves. Right? 
And so for the for the techno guys, not just for the trance guys, you can make really interesting uh, uh, kind of quick sequences uh, that would be kind of weird to punch in. You can have them repeating on uh, weird kind of steps. So that would be, you know, we can have it repeating like 11. And then have this one going like that. And we'll have hold on a few of them. So check this out. Right, so that's kind of like not musical at all, but you get the idea. stuff and filter. Right. And uh, that would be the sequence bone. Uh, of course, you have uh, regular up down uh, traditional uh, arpeggiator modes. And uh, as played would be, say, if you're having, if you press one note and then you press another, it plays them in order. So, you know, you just have to kind of experiment in that way it's just uh, classic modes um and that would be the arpeggiator you have two arpeggiators one per layer so you can get really interesting kind of sounds that way uh so yeah useful for uh, kind of trancey sounds useful for techno sounds as well you can get really interesting ones especially because you can alter the steps which i i don't see in a lot of uh modern synthesizers you can have all these steps and you can have them like against the time signature which I want to get across here right you can do cool stuff especially with a sequencer um, yeah uh, that is the arpeggiator and sequencer for synthmaster hope you learned stuff and uh, take care